The topic is today the kingdom, as it always is. Today we're going to be talking about DNA and reproduction. For a living, breathing thing uh, to reproduce and reproduce true, it has to have good DNA. Um, you know, they're creating new breeds of dogs and cats and other things all the time. Uh, one of the things they need to do when they create the new breed is to ensure that generation after generation, the desirable traits are displayed in the uh, progeny of the original stock that they start with. In the kingdom, we're, sort, we're God's progeny. And uh, it's his desire that as we reproduce, the things that are core, the DNA that should be part of all of our lives is reproduced in our followers. For the most part, I would say that Christendom looks at the church, the churches on the street corner, to reproduce. And if you think about it, churches have reproduced true in a lot of ways. You can go to a church on the east coast of the United States or the west coast of the United States. And there is a strong similarity between the services. They generally have um, two or three songs, then maybe the offering, then the sermon, then maybe announcements and a few songs, and then they close. And whether you're at a church um, north, south, east, or west, it tends to be that way. That's because the DNA of the church is pretty um, defined and it reproduces true. However, when we step out of the church to where people live in their workplaces, in their homes, in their families, we're not seeing such good reproduction. One of the reasons is because you have to reproduce what you are. If you want to uh, reproduce good, strong marriages, right where you are in your marriage, you have to live out a good, strong marriage and you have to be able to impart that to other couples in the here and now where people live, where we get, gather at work or at home or um, in our extended families. If we want to reproduce what it means to be a disciplined follower, we can reproduce people who go to church by taking them to church with us. And uh, we often do that and that's a good thing. But if we want people to live out being able to share their faith with other people uh, at work, uh, at school, up on the college campus, with our family, with our extended family, we have to be in close enough proximity to people so that they can see our lives, we can see their lives, we can encourage and speak into each other's lives. Now, that DNA is currently not working very well in our culture. Why? We see many people having uh, problems in their lives from divorce to uh, drug use to promiscuity. These things are a symptom that we are not reproducing true as disciples. So we need to fix that. Then think about our families. Building a family is a skill. I didn't realize that when I first started having children. I thought by reading a few books, I really knew what I needed to know to raise my, my family. Uh, I came from, like many of you, a dysfunctional home. There are a lot of things that I missed in my childhood years. And unfortunately, I passed on some of those things to my, my family I, and how I lived. <clears throat> if I had had the opportunity to learn from other people in closer proximity that had solid families, I would have um, uh, been able to do a better job with my family. Now, it wasn't that I wasn't in close proximity, but I really didn't understand the process of giving, giving and receiving that should have been the foundation of learning from each other. I didn't understand the standards that I should have uh, adopted in our family that would have strengthened our family as a Christian family, uh, the standards that would have helped us uh, integrate um, how it is to walk with Christ on a day-to-day -day basis, serving Christ together. Uh, my husband and I, we often serve people by bringing them into our home. That was a really great blessing to our children. But if I had been more aware, I would have engaged them more in that process. 
and consequently, I think it would have strengthened our family. So these are the, the key foundations, building disciples, building marriages, building families, and then finally, knitting together one another as believers to help stir up, see how we're doing in these three key areas, disciple building, marriage building, family building, and strength, strengthening each other in those regards. So that's what it means to have strong DNA in the kingdom, that these uh, things that we should be doing are being done, they're being done well, they're being done uh, in our own lives, in the lives of the people we're affecting, and the lives of the people they affect. We need to be reproducing strong to the fourth generation to even know if we have any kind of DNA at all. And the real test is will we reproduce strong 10 generations, 20 generations. We have some work to do.